Blog Talk Radio. Real talk, real plans. Real life, real fans with Riri and Coco. You know, messy, not malicious. Our talk is just delicious with Riri and Coco. You know. Hello, What's everybody. Up, guys? <laughs> Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. What's up, low. guys? Thank you so much for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plans with Riri and Coco. Woohoo! Hey, Coco Pally. Hey. How you doing? Uh, I'm okay. Okay, little, you said that and it sounds sketchy. Yeah, just a little sinusy, but I'm okay. Okay. I should make Sinus. it through. Oh, you think it could be allergies? Allergies, yeah, yeah, allergies from the cleaning. <laughs> Ooh, you've been cleaning? Yeah, I had to, I got to get in my closet and I couldn't. So I just took everything to that was on the for like the bin with stuff that I ain't seen in a year. Took it right to Goodwill. I didn't even open it because I would, you know, go through it. Oh, I need this. I'll be able to wear this again. All that. Mm-mm. I ain't seen it in a year. Bye. So I don't know what was in there, mm. but it's gone. <laughs> I need the cleaning book. I need to use, I mean, I need to get the cleaning book because. Yeah. I have this stack of things beside me, um, planner-wise, that I just need to get rid of. Not get rid of. Let me not say that. I need to organize it, like put them all in, like, books and such. And I just Mm -hmm. have not done that yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, even my – what do you call them? Starbucks cups? Mhm. I'm getting rid of those too. Let me put them online for ten dollars. Uh, oh, that's not bad. I know. Uh, just make I sure have you yours. give me a couple. Thank you. Yes, I have yours. I'm excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> not that I need another yeah. cup. No, not I know. That I need exactly. One. And I just need all those cups gone. It's just too much. At least. My water will look pretty. Exactly. Speaking of, exactly. what do so you how have you doing? Oh, I'm good. About to bust my kid in the head. Don't for dinner. You should have came well. down when I called dinner. I'm doing my show. Bye. Hi, sure. Hi. <laughs> hey, nephew. That's the same. You should have came down when I called you. That exactly. Dinner, the now kitchen you is closed. Bye. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm doing I'm doing really good, <laughs> feeling so much better and have so much more energy um, than I did. Um, I still get weak really easily. Uh, I think, but that's just like calorie deficit, you know. Yeah. But I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm not okay, hungry well, anymore, that's... but I'm hungry. Yeah, that's normal. He's got to. Find some other stuff to do to get your mind off of it. I don't know. Don't uh, ask me because I I'm I'm horrible. Because me, I'd be like, girl, yeah, just get your lips off. You <laughs> like, I'm just I'm horrible with that kind of stuff. Well, they said that next um, next week I should be able to move up to puree foods. Oh, so I won't be as hungry. So um, I did some shopping today. I got some applesauce. I got some hummus. I got um, I don't know what else, but I got. So next week is the starting on Monday. No, probably Wednesday. I go to the doctor on Tuesday. Mm Hmm. So yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, When uh, actually Thursday would be day fifteen. 
But fuck that. After I go to the doctor, I'm going to ask them because I'm hungry. So, <laughs> yeah. So I am bucking all the system. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh, uh uh. I need to eat today. Today's the mm-hmm. day. Well, that's good that you're able to even eat that soon. So that's good. They probably would be like, yeah, go ahead. Right. Um, I mean, I did. I have not chewed one thing except for my calcium um, and my vitamins. So they should be fine, right? Yeah, I mean, you've done really well, I'll say. Yeah, I think so. Um, so what's in your cup? Sprite, actually. It's been a long time. But yeah. It sounds really sprite. good, too. It is. It goes right off the bottle. Well, I poured it in my cup, but, you know, it's not like it's poured it down. It's That's not right, comparable the, uh, to. Oh. It's not comp- Yeah, it's not comparable to McDonald's Sprite, but. Because I don't yeah, know what they do today. That Sprite be potent. Yeah, that's what people say about McDonald's Diet Coke, too. But, you know, I don't drink diet drinks. That'll kill me. Mm-mm. They Coke be strong, too. Yeah. So. But, yeah, that's it. What you And what you water? Well, I got water. I started on my water too late today. So mm-hmm. I'm still struggling through my water. Not struggling through like I don't enjoy it, but struggling through like just trying to meet my goal. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's different when you just have the cup and you drink it all day, but when you know you have to reach a certain goal, that makes it different. Um, Yeah. I get that. It does. Of course, Ray is over here talking about, hey, sweet baby Mason, because she just loves her some Mason. No, not no sweet baby Mason. I take that. Boy, 20 minutes ago about dinner, he coming down now. Dinner over. Kiss and well, clothes. Well, he probably Bye. was on his game. He was. Kiss and clothes. Bye-bye. Oh, Lord. I tell him to get him some peanut butter and jelly. He ain't going to like We had no way because the whole family been doing liquid. Oh, So Lord. we had some. <laughs> that's, why, that's why he ain't come down. Shit. I know. So we had like this, it was like this green soup. It was like pea, spinach, and broccoli mixed with like cheddar soup. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was good, but it just looked green. You know what I'm saying? Like it was good, but it was, it was green. The whole house so was sexy. Probably, yeah, whole house. We had tomato soup. We had, um, oh, a good Thai soup called Tom Ka. It was really tasty. Oh, yeah. I had some of that last week at a restaurant. Now, was that last Saturday? Delicious. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, Ray said, could have came and got my baby for his dinner. Not if you got to suffer, everybody got to suffer. That's love. Actually, I didn't even make that plan. They was at dinner, and sweet baby Mason was talking about, oh, yeah, that ain't that hard, Mom. I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to do all this with tomorrow. Bro, I went to school, ate good, came home, made some noodles. I was like, hey, what happened to your liquid diet? He goes, this is my liquid Crunch, crunch, crunch on them noodles. I'm like, boy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so you <laughs> fix that ass. It's soup. She fixed that ass. <laughs> so we don't have soup every night. Um, but it, it was good. It was good. Um, it, it was tasty. At least it wasn't like that plain broth. It would have been mad. I, I would have been messed up if I would have been like, y'all eat this broth with me. But it was flavorful. That tomato soup was busting. I'm talking about I was in tears, literally. Like, thank you so much. Oh, I love much. tomato so soup. Good. <laughs> I love me some tomato soup. Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, enough about me and my food. What did you, oh, you said uh, Sprite is in your cup. 
Um, how was your week? Did you get anything planned? Did you do anything? What the plan are looking like? Tell me something good. Uh, yeah, girl, a planner. Mm-mm. Me and the planner are not getting along right now. I have some lists in there, some stuff I need to do at work, but like as far as decorating it, and no, I haven't done it. But I'm gonna do it next week at the thing. Um, yeah, I am planned up for the week. Up. Oh, I forgot about the meetup. Mhm. I forgot. I forgot. Is that Sweet Hunt? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, cool, cool. That's smart. I have a Groveway meeting in the morning, and then we can go straight there. Okay, because I leave for the cruise the next morning, so. Oh, I love you excited. Wait, you going to cruise this back to back? No, it's three weeks apart. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play me. Okay. So, for everybody who listens often, you know when we play the game, Coco, where are you going next week on your cruise? I'm going to write this down so that we still know. Um, Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, and Grand Turk of Turks and Caicos. Hold on. Let me write that down. And somewhere in the Bahamas, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> oh, because you're so fancy? No, Been there too many the times. It's huh? so boring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where is Coco going? Let me write this down. Where is Coco going? Okay. You said Dominican Republic? Uh huh. What part again? Amber Cove. Okay. And uh, Turks and Caicos, Grand Turk. Turks and Caicos. And the Bahamas. Mm-hmm. Bougie Bahamas. Oh. <laughs> That's the fort where most people stay on the boat. Okay, for real. I think that's because most boats go there. But I think um, Grand Turk is where one of my first cruises went. But I always like go to like Jamaica. Um, I don't think I've ever been to the Bahamas. Ugh. And I think because yeah. everybody I've been on a cruise with is just like you about the Bahamas. Yeah, but if you're like going us, out of Florida, you're going that. to the Bahamas. Yeah, exactly. Well, when we go in October, though, we're not. Okay, well, don't tell it's... us because then you're going to be trying to confuse us and we need to win next weekend. Oh, no, I ain't going to tell you all because I can't remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um will be checking uh, what... out and make sure I told you the right thing. Have you thought about, like, um... Do you, like, pre-plan on your trip so that you can, like, plan out your excursions, plan out your bathing no. suits, like, deep? You don't do none of that? No. I don't. Okay, um, what, not for this one. So this one is a full family cruise, and two of the grandkids are going. We're really going as we're babysitting grandparents Um, this cruise. So we're going with all of my kids and their spouse and and the, the two grandbabies and the events. And so that's for a week. But when we go by ourselves, we, we have some stuff planned out. So we're going to just do some stuff with the kids, the babies. Speaking of, happy Grandparents mm-hmm. Day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did you get to see your grandbabies today? Uh-huh. I saw two of them. And, they, I, and tomorrow morning I have to have breakfast at 
Well, me and Vince are going because I'm going for my eye appointment. Did I tell y'all if someone's wrong with one of my eyes? Well, we go into the grandparents' day breakfast at the school tomorrow. Oh. You got to pay $5 for them little grits and eggs, sure. No, I ain't got to pay nothing. And I'm not even eating that food. The kids are nasty. I can't eat with all them little kids. So I just go, you know. Kids are gross. Oh, they're right. so gross. It go to support, huh? I so, know. Yeah, they be all hot nose and oh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> but, but what's wrong with anyway, the eyeball test? I don't know. They told me that there was pressure and like some blood or something behind one of them. And so the I forgot BRVO or something they said it could be. And it's a there's a cure Girl, for like it. You, know, you needed cure. another diagnosis. Thank you. I didn't realize how bad it was, like that it was an emergency. Because when I finally called to make the appointment a couple of weeks ago, the lady's like, well, you were supposed to come the day that we called you when you left your doctor because he referred me to the retina doctor. And I was like, oh, she's like, yeah, this was a, marked as an emergency appointment. I was like, oh, <laughs> well, well, what is it? So she told me, she well, she didn't tell me what it was. She was reading, and I'm listening to her. She was reading what they needed to schedule me for and that's how I figured out what it was. So what she was telling me, obviously, I'm Dr. Googling. And the there's a 50 to 60 percent, if this is, it turns out to be what it is, prognosis for 2040 vision in that eye. Um, but the treatment, girl, a needle in your eye. Put me to sleep. Thank you. If you can't put me to sleep, I'm going blind. That's it. So I'm going to cut up so bad. <laughs> they ain't going to be able to get the needle close to my eye. Put me to sleep, child. Uh-uh. Yeah. So anyway, I'm praying that I go tomorrow and they'll be like, we don't see nothing. Whatever your doctor saw is gone. The good thing is I do go to the eye doctor regularly. So whatever it is is new because it was not the last uh the where it was I went. Yeah, I like that. So it's new. um every time I go to uh one of my primary I have two primary care doctors, but every time I go to one of them he does like a diabetic eye test. I don't know why these people keep thinking of diabetic. But they do the diabetic uh, eye test. And um, um, I always like that because, you know, I want to know if something happened immediately. Um, Just like when they did my surgery. Okay, so sorry, crossover topic. But when they did my surgery, he was in there and I told the doctor to, like, take pictures. And he saw something on my ovary. He was like, your ovary is really big. So I took some pictures so you can take it to the gynecologist. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So I was uh, really happy nothing. about that. Yes, yeah, probably nothing. Yeah. Because he didn't do nothing with it when he was in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if it was bad enough, he would have he would have fixed it, or you know, not. You know what I mean? So, um, but whatever the case may be, it's good to have someone see it and know, you know, what's going on. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. No, it um, is good. Okay. I'm, say, I'm serious about my health. I don't, you know, I may not be serious about nothing. Girl, else, but... don't nobody else know you serious about their health, is me. <laughs> <laughs> if don't nobody else know, I know. I know. Okay. I so, so um, fooling around. My wife is on Reddit a lot. Did you know that there was a planner? <laughs> Like space on Reddit. Yeah, there's something for everything on Reddit. Well, I didn't know that. I thought it was only weird shit on Reddit. Well, I, I thought it was like because it's like Twitter to me. It's like what? It's like Twitter to me. It's like so much going on, and it's just like you know the spaces. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like my visually. It's not good for me. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm never on it, but this morning, um, 
or this afternoon, uh, 55 was like, hey, what are some unpopular planner opinions? And so I'm thinking she's just asking me, and I was like, hmm. And then she goes on to read some of the things. And so I was like, ooh. And so tonight when I was trying to come up with a good topic, she was like, well, what, let's talk talk about those unpopular planner opinions. And I was like, you know what? Okay. So I figured we'd go through a couple of them and see what you think and the audience. And if um, somebody wants to call in, chime in, make a comment, you know what to do. You can call in. Um, Coco Pelli has to tell you the number. I think it's 515-602. Sorry. Yeah. Five one five six zero two nine six eight zero. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to call in, you can call that number, um, or you can inbox me on um, at Real Talk with Riri on Instagram. I have it up kinda in my background, um, and I am reading off of Reddit. All right. So first up is someone with, I guess she got a whole lot of thoughts. Okay. She says, or this person says, I just want my weeklies. No habit trackers, no mood mazes, no menu planner or food log, no hydration mini games. Do I use this, these things? Some of them, sometimes. But I keep them separate from my planner or optional. If I'm not going to be consistent with filling them in, I don't want them in my planner. The only fluff I keep in my planner is a priority me tracker and my weekly retrospective. They're both small enough to fit on my weekly spread, and if they didn't, I wouldn't have them in my planner at all. And even then, I print my inserts only a few months at a time so that if I wanted to cut them, I could. Okay. All right. So what do you think do you uh think about like the habit trackers, the mood mazes, menu planner, food log or hydration mini games? Do you think that that is like an unpopular opinion? Do you think more people dislike it? Um I think it's one of those taboo topics and I think a lot of people feel that way cuz I felt that way my whole heart. <laughs> I <laughs> I I don't use those things. And it's even like when you buy sticker kits and there's always like some kind of tracker. And it's like, Jesus, I don't need another tracker. You can find one anywhere on any sticker sheet you have. It, it They're always there. And I agree. I could literally okay. write that I drank water today in my planner. Like I don't need to fill in a little bubble that said I Water Every today. eight, eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you know, I'm one of those people that if I need a tracker and I don't have one, I'll make one with like highlighter. Like I'm good with that. It it don't bother yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? Like just I can just mark it I off. Think it's and it's cool. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so a lot of the people agree. Some people said I like months, weeks. And blank pages in the back. Um, um, actually, they had a lot of people. Um, okay, here's another one. I, oh, okay. It makes more sense for the months to be split up chronologically between the weeklies and not all bunched up at the beginning. It just flows better. Okay. What do you think? That's that's what somebody just wrote in and said. Yeah, no, that's like that's one of the unpopular opinions. That okay, say it again. Stuff needs to be at the beginning of the week. No, the monthlies need to be at the beginning of the month between the weeklies and not all bunched up at the beginning. You know how like in the whole yeah. see all the months yeah. are at the beginning. Yes, that's why. Yes, I do because a lot of them. And they make it hard for you to 
switch them around, right? Because it'll have like the on the back of the monthly, it'll start for the next one. You know what I'm the next so yeah. you can't like take it and split it up in between. So yes, I agree with that. I don't like that either. Mm. That's why I'd rather printable. See, yeah. I think I'm different because I don't mind mine being all in the front because if I'm doing like a bujo, I'm not doing the whole planner at one time. So if I need to write something down for October, if I'm still in September, there is no October yet. Okay. I yeah. Well You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in a pre dated planner, yes, it's fine. They can be between the weeklies because there is like it's already there. But for somebody like me who like puts their stuff together or does it week by week, I think I kind of need them, um, um, you know, at least all in there at somewhere. Um, I was watching a video by Rochelle at Scrap Craftastic, and she said that she was thinking about putting all her monthlies in the back of the planner and not in the front so that once it starts, uh, like, chunking out, it won't have uh-huh. a big hump on one side already. From my oh, taping in yeah, that makes sense. Stuff. It does. I was like, oh, huh. Let me find out. That makes sense. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. It is. Okay. Um. All right. Let's see. This one is really an unpopular opinion, I think. A lot of these aren't, uh, they weren't unpopular but this one I think would be weekdays should be tiny and weekends should be huge like maybe one page for all five weekdays and then two pages for Saturday oh sorry and two pages for Sunday I have only like three hours a day to get quick shit done after work on a weekday so it's usually just a brief like task list but then I like to hourly plan and journal and memory keep on the weekends. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm be real honest. I don't even need a Saturday and Sunday because I ain't doing shit. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. Now, that's why I said this one would really be an unpopular opinion, baby, that weekend. Yeah, I don't even need it. We could put a one box on both days. Listen, I ain't getting out of the bed Mm-mm. if I don't have to. You hear me? I'm on the couch. What in the world are they doing that they need two pages for each day? <laughs> Girl. And why are you doing that doing much that on much? your weekend? Yes, who is doing that on a Saturday or Sunday? Maybe it's us. I don't know, but. Uh-uh. That's, mm-mm. Um, <laughs> no boy, no. I just feel like I'm tired after the week. Yes. Well, I don't want to do anything. No, not at um, all. One of the comments, um, one of the comments after that one was, I thought I was the only one. My weekends are full up. I like to plan my week, usually one-hour sessions, sometimes two hours Saturday and Sunday. Also, do a weekly review so my weekends are not necessarily free at all. It's mostly preparing for next week. And if I don't, I can kiss my week goodbye as everything falls through the cracks without my weekend organization. I don't know. I, I well, disagree with it. I ain't... No. I can plan for the week without having a whole lot of space on Saturday and Sunday to just say that on Saturday and Sunday I'm planning for next week. Exactly. I could just write it for a next yeah, week. Yeah, I mean, you don't need a lot of time to say that. I, I mean, a lot of space. I don't understand. I think these people are confused. Or do they write down every little thing they do, like moment to moment? <laughs> they need a minute planner. Sounds like to me. Um, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. Odd. 
Um, yeah, no, that I don't know that that just sounds um, hectic. <laughs> so, to, to copy my girl Amber Landry. I'm sorry, y'all. It's hectic. My my sinuses or allergies or for a ruder roof, so my apologies. Um, okay. Someone says, I hate the term catch all planner. If it catches all, then why do you need the other six? Oh, well, true. I agree with that. But excuse me, I do have a catch all, but I do agree with that. And I think let me just say this. I think that's why I'm having a hard time keeping up now because it's so much. It but is, you that's only a have lot. one planner. No, I have the one that's in my purse, which would be everything that's happening, but on a smaller scale, right? Like not all written out, just kind of whatever the ish, the thing is. Then okay, I have okay. my work planner. And that's, I think that's why, but I'm going to get to just the one because I don't need all that. And I'll just keep the one from my purse in case something happens on the fly that I need to just put in my regular one. You know what I'm saying? Because it's too much. I can't keep up anymore. Okay. Yeah. So um, maybe I'm defeating the purpose I... of a planner. Um, I think that's what happens when you get too many. You get overwhelmed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, mm-hmm. And I, I get wanting to separate things, but then at the same time, it's kind of like, but how do you make yourself remember to look in each one every day? Like in a main exactly. planner, I say put it on your pillow so you don't forget or, you know, put it in your purse, you know, stuff like that. But if you have 42, where you going to hide all them? Put one in the bathroom. Every time you go in the bathroom, you can look at that one. Put this one in the kitchen. Every time you go in the kitchen, look at that. You know, like, it just seems yeah. like too much. Um, let me check to see if we have any comments. Nope, and no callers. Y'all can call in at 515-602-9680. Okay. Oh my God. Is your nerves hurting? Mm-hmm. All right. So this one, I say, is your nose hurting? Yes. How you know? You know how it gets that that tingle and pain right around? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. Planner peace does exist, and most people who don't believe in it are addicted to the act of buying planner supplies. <clears throat> yeah, I agree with that. Mm. I agree with that because honestly, if you think of it, if you use the planner for what for its intended use, right, keep you on track, be able to put things in there, right, remember things, whatever it is you you originally intend it for, you don't need all everything else. You don't need to go to all these conferences. You don't need every sticker book ever made. You do, that's you you don't need that. If you're, you're really going to use the planner for what it's used, you know, for the intended purpose. So you could be at peace with it. The reason people don't find peace is, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, which is probably unpopular. They are chasing after all the things and what it should look like in comparison to yours, mine, theirs, you know, things like that. So that's why people don't have plan or peace because they're looking for they're they're searching for something that's really not there. Um okay. So two comments that were under the post and then I'm gonna go to a listener comment. Okay. Someone says um also, planner peace does not mean that you have to find a single system that works for you at all times for an entire year. It can also be about acknowledging that needs vary at different times and taking a flexible approach as needed without having to invest in an entirely new system just because things haven't been perfect for a week or two. 
So I think that is one of the things um, that's also like if if you know that it's not working for you right now, it's okay to swap, and but you don't have to buy all, like a whole new system to do so. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then another person says, the only people without planner peace are the planner influencers who make money jumping planner to planner and making videos about it and the people who watch and copy them. That mm-hmm. is what I agree with for sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that we see something and we really, really like it because we like it visually. But so we invest in all the things and we buy all the things to go with it. And then you realize mm-hmm. that that shit ain't going to work for you neither, which is yeah. why we are encouraging the realists to use this last part of the year to really, to, to use September to really figure out what it is you need to use in your planner, what, you know, what things you find yourself drawn to, and then try it out for October, November, and December. And then you'll see if you like it for the next year. I'm not saying that uh, Scrap Craft Tastic took our advice or anything, but she did swap her planner. She swapped from the standard traveler size to the A5 uh, strategy, and she's going to try it out for the end of the year. And she said specifically, not related to us, of course, but she said, if I like this, if this works for me, then this is what we'll do in 2025. And I think that is the right approach. You already have yeah. something. You can use it. You can try it out and then see if you like it. Um, another friend named Brittany, shout out to Brittany, Thug Plans 2. Thug Plan 2. You hear me? Um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she is using a B5 planner and mimicking the spread and layout that she wants so that she can buy that planner and be ready to know how to be able to decorate it for next year. And I think that's a really great approach. Also, if you just have a regular notebook, notebooks are just cheaper than planners. Are they much too much work to set the fuck up every week sometimes, especially if you think you're going to draw? Because I ain't drawing shit. I ain't drawing Mm -hmm. shit. But I lay a box on that bitch. (laughs) And that's it. I lay a box down, um, but uh, it's cheaper to to experiment with. Um, okay, sorry. Um, so one of the questions that we have from a listener, Ray, says, "What do people suggest go in a catch-all planner?" I'd love to hear a discussion on that. Okay. Um, okay. So for me, when I say catch all, I would probably Well do it this Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. It's where you put everything right in air in one place. You know, every calendar, every, you know, if you have a meal planning book, you put the meal plans in there too. The goals, uh, your budget, people have budget planner, uh, work planning stuff, combine it. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, everything will go in one in one place. So everything that you have in each individual planner will now go into this one catch-all planner. Is what I believe um, a catch-all is. Yeah, mostly that's what, when I think about it, that's what I think about it. So if you have two planners, let's say you have a planner, like she said, a planner for work, a planner for home, a planner for the kids, you would basically put everything in there. So, for example, if you had just one page, you would split it in four and work, home, kids, I don't know, meal planning would go on that one page for each day or every day of the week. So I know a lot of uh, traditional planners have uh, like 
the vertical traditional planners, like happy planner and stuff, they have the three boxes. So a lot of people might use the top row for work, the middle row for work, the bottom row for something else. I mean, or for home. You get what I'm saying? Like each Mm -hmm. thing, you just make sure that you incorporate information from each facet of your life into the same planner. Um, Yesterday, when I was trying to figure out ways to use my A5 space a little better, Mm -hmm. I was asking the people on Planner Shenanigans, and they suggested um, you could include things like weather, steps, food, appointments, You could journal or diary, the rabbit holes that I go down, questions for the doctor, um, energy level. Like you would just, you know, keep up, take note of all of those things uh, daily. And so that would be, you know, some of the stuff that you would, you know, put in a catch-all. I always have a space on my pages for books that I'm reading um, just to kind of remind me, like, hey, you need to read this. You you need to you need to go do your thing. Um, yeah, I mean, and it's because you know you want to go back and look and see like, oh, I remember when I read that, and you know, blah 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 blah. But not like the pressure of, or for me, not the pressure of. I need to to mark this off my habit tracker. The only thing that I do for habits are like my medicines, and that's because I have to hold myself accountable. You want to get, you know, your your blood pressure under control, you have to take your medicine. You have to. There's no question about it. You want your heart to be healthy, you have to take your medicine. There's no question about it. So when I see that a couple of times, I'm like, hey, hey, you ain't doing right, you know? Uh, Which is more of a reason for the midweek check-in than anything else. For me to update it, make sure I'm using it, um, and and doing that. Uh, to make sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Another one, and then we'll, you know, slack off. And I'll save some of these so we can talk about, it, you know, some more as we all think about what we're going into for the next year. Um, you know, these are good questions to bring up things that we don't uh, talk about. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. This one. Okay. How about a modernist planner where time will suddenly, where, what? This don't make no sense. Where time will suddenly go back into time for flashbacks. The planner skips January and starts with March, but suddenly on the page of June, there's an embedded month, which is a flashback of January. This is stupid. Never mind. I'm not reading it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I don't hang out much in the planner community. I don't even know why you're commenting then. Um, So I don't know what I'm – but I'm curious to see if what I think are unpopular opinions are actually so – or if I'm just a regular NPC in the planner world. Creamy paper is better than white paper. Ooh, I don't know about that. Most skin isn't that bad, just overpriced. Mm, I don't know. Have you ever had a mold skin planner? Well, it is overpriced. And that's probably why I ain't never had now. Okay. Monthly <laughs> monthly <laughs> calendars spread throughout the pa- planner is better than grouped together. I think we talked about that already. Um, yearly pages are a waste of paper and ink. Hmm. I never use really? them, so I might agree with her, but what do you think? Yeah, because I only use 12 days out of them, and it, well, actually 11, because two of the grandkids born on the same day, just for the kids' grandkids' birthday. But I don't even need that because Vince knows all the birthdays. Because <laughs> so. he's good like that. Okay. Weekly layouts are the worst, especially 
horizontal weeklies. What? Verticals, I guess, make sense, but I honestly cannot imagine a good use case for horizontal. Now she's going really? too far. Yeah, she's going people? too far. These yeah. are unpopular opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> The hourly timelines on the side actually should go into the late hours of the night, but I'm speaking as a student, so I need that extra space for late night late night studying, I guess. No, I agree with you. Don't end my day at 9 o'clock. Bitch, who's going to be at 9? I wish I um, could, no. and I can't. <laughs> yeah, me either. Um... The last one she said is Hobonichi is pretty much Moleskin Japan edition with extra cash grab gimmicks. And also, I like the colors they use on the weekends. And I also like the different colors for each month thingy. Yeah, that's very unpopular because I hate that. Oh, with the colors? Yes. Mm-hmm. I hate when my stuff is shaded. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like the... Yeah, I can't stand it. No, exactly. I'll um, shade it myself. Thank you if I needed it. If I need it, shade it. Why are you changing my color? And, I mean, it just don't go with all my stickers if I want to put a sticker down. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, uh-uh. Um, okay. So, I think, okay, one more. Everyone will hate me for this, but I despise Tomo River paper or Tomoe River paper. Oh. I kind of disagree. <clears throat> okay. I don't have an opinion on that. Um... Because I've been using them in the I, well, wait. I don't think I've ever used Tomo River paper. I got Bible paper in my Stalogy, but I don't think it's Tomoe River paper. It's similar, but not the same. Uh huh. So I don't really know. I don't know. I just know that people say you can watercolor on them, and I really love the idea of watercolor. I don't know if I love the idea of watercoloring in my planner, maybe in a journal or something, but maybe not in my planner. But I really love the idea of watercoloring. I think I want to get into that. What do you think? You should. I do it with my cards and stuff, with my crafting, so I think you should. Mm Mm-hmm. Let me find out. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to talk about that because I want want some watercolor. Okay. Okay. Um, Ray says, since I want to go in hybrid Bujo reading planner next year, I'd love to hear your thoughts um maybe maybe i wasn't supposed to read it all out um then she says "Ooh, daily journal pages alongside or behind a weekly layout might be perfect for me i do think that the daily journal pages or the daily pages after a weekly layout um is good i know uh who had that who used to have that like maybe uh, print pressing used to do that. Give you a weekly spread and then daily oh, pages yeah. after it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I want to say the honeybee shop. I could have made that up though. Um, no, that I don't personal know. Personal monthly pages make more sense than use than yearly pages. I only use yearly trackers in my reading journal, and to be honest, I don't read use them at all. I'm cutting back on yearly reading trackers next year. I don't. I'm tired of them. I agree. I just never flip back to it. It it just, I don't know. Right. I'm trying to figure out. I do like the, the monthlies, but I do think that next year I'm going to, as soon as those calendars are released, I think I'm going to put them in the, actually, I could just draw them in the back of my planner. Oh. Who want to do that? I could do it, though. I could do it. Yeah, of course you can do it. But like you said, who who wants to? Who want to do that? Nobody. Okay, you're right. I just talked myself out of it so fast. Um. Uh. Yeah. So 
Um, I don't. I never use the the perpetual calendar. Um, next week, by next week, which is September twenty second, I will have found the list of things that I do I dislike and do not use in my planner. Um, and I'll be ready for the discussion. So make sure you have your list ready, y'all, because we got to get ready for October. It is going to be spooky season. It's birthday season because so many people's birthdays are like from September to October. What y'all mamas them was on? Huh? What they were celebrating? Is it the new year? Uh, they were warming up. Uh-huh. And you know, That's a little cuddle thinking, and a though. hug lead to. It's, it's so, so many of y'all. My God. Um. So yeah, yeah. Well, ain't many so people growing in the summer. <laughs> Listen, not too many. I guess I was a Valentine's Day baby if I came at Christmas, huh? Well, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's what, so we're gonna be ready. We're gonna have my list. You're gonna have your list Thursday at the midweek check in. We can talk about our list if you would like. Um, yeah, I'll be there. All right. we can, And you can hop on if you want, if you're feeling better. Um, and we can talk about our so. list to see what we're going to use, what we're not going to use, and what we're going to try out for next year. I have already gone back to a weekly spread in my planner, and I am already struggling with having a weekly and a daily because I'm just a one planner girl. Oh my God. But I like <laughs> to have the weekly, I mean, the, the little one with me so that I can do it. But next year, I'll be able to do two planners so I won't feel so bad. Okay. I just didn't want to start this one, another one in the middle of the, you know, in the middle of the year. I want to start that one in January. So if I do a weekly up until, you know, the end of the year, then I'll be fine. Um, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. There are some sales this week. I mean, next weekend coming up. We'll talk about that more on Thursday. Um, and, oh, I'd like to retract a statement. My sister told me that I needed to retract a statement. When I said that people called and checked on me, she said that I specifically did not say that my sister did. I only mentioned my cousin and my nieces. Y'all, if y'all know anything about that crazy lady, that lady called me a million times and checked in on me. Crazy. Yeah, Everybody I just thought that way when I was saying. <laughs> exactly. She sent me a message. I mean, called me today and let me have it, child. You didn't say I called. I said, well, ma'am, anybody know you called me 15 times a day? <laughs> well, that's okay. Give her her flowers. I'm giving her her flowers, y'all. My sister called me to check on me, and so many people have been reaching out, and I feel so supported and so loved, and I appreciate you all. Thanks so much for listening and to the, to the rant that I did last week. Oh, my God, Coco, you would have been so proud. Oh, really? You would have been so proud. All I did was bitch and moan. And they said that Coco would be here for all the shenanigans. Ah. So <laughs> that I said Coco would be so embarrassed. They said, no, no, Coco would be here for all of it. So yes. thank you so much. I need you to bring um, out that but, side of you. <laughs> Girl, that hangry had me all the way. Ah. Oh, Lord. That hangry had me messed up last week. But Coco <laughs> Pelly. I am still yes, being harassed by your girl in your favorite shop. Why are you emailing me still? Oh, wait, me too. So I sent back a nasty message and said, listen, I ain't bought nothing from you in five years and was sorry when I made the first purchase. And I unsubscribed a long time ago. Please take me off your list. Don't ever contact me again. See, that's what I'm talking so, about. So if you want to know who that was, that was me, y'all. To her, if she <laughs> you know her cult following. Go, I mean, her minion. I mean, her gym. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Are you going to tell her? Well, it was me. 
I come up with a well, I didn't come up with a theory, but someone came up with a theory that they know that I keep unsubscribing and they keep sending it to me on purpose because I keep talking about it. I think business is suffering, and they just went back into the uh the old archives the vault and huh? didn't give a shit yes and and yeah, yeah, because every day is something, and it's the the niceties for me when I wanna say. This is, this is not even you. So that that right there, I'm not going to buy nothing because you're being fake. Because you're being fake. Yeah, I agree with that. Talk like you've been um, talking. If you don't get it, if you want to skip a month and just forget it for the year, all of that. Okay, well, everybody forgot it for a year. Now your business suffering. And now you're mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Begging. Well, um, so make sure you, if you didn't listen and you'd like to listen to Riri Ramble and Rant, then please make sure you tune into last week's episode. Um, and I think that's it. Next week we'll be talking about more planner. Ooh, maybe we'll talk about planner X. Oh, maybe we'll do that. We'll ask, what is your planner X? I'll ask that on IG. Anyway, um, I think that's it. So, Coco, is your heart free, your mind clear, all that good stuff? Hearts and minds clear? <laughs> all hearts and minds are clear. Well, mine is. Mine too. Thank you guys so much for listening. Remember to check our, uh, follow us on Instagram at Real Talk with Riri and Coco Plans 2. Check our LinkedIn tree for code, discount codes and buying coffees and Head over to the YouTube channel to hear more about my bariatric journey. Um, and also replay the show. Shoot, share it with somebody who might like a laugh. Give them the laugh that they deserve. Keep it messy and never malicious, and we'll see you next week. Bye. We'll talk real plans. Real life, real fans with Riri and Coco. You know. Messy, not malicious. Our talk is just delicious. With Riri and Coco, you know.